OK, what we are going to do is we are going to uh, see a couple of use cases as, as I mentioned in the uh, uh, the group. So as usual, I'm going to first build my Ansible environment. Then we will see a couple of things in Ansible. <clears throat> so as usual, I have my Google Cloud. You can even build the same steps in uh, AWS Cloud or uh, Azure Cloud or your laptop itself. <clears throat> All I need is I need a three missions. First mission, I'm going with the server. I don't want two CPU and four GB memory and all. So I'm, I'm just going with a very minimal one CPU, one GB memory. That is more than enough for us to, to build. Actually, FITO LMB is itself, it's fine. Um, so I'm just seeing, is there any option? Yeah, this is one CPU, six, six, uh, 614 MB memory. This is more than enough. Uh, come down. I need a CentOS 7, so I'm going for CentOS. So these are all we already did last week. Come down. So allow HTTP, allow HTTPS, allow full access to make sure I'm not end up with any issues during my learning. So create. So this is server. Actually, uh, to build Ansible environment, so what are all we need? We need one master. So basically, we need one master. Uh, one uh, client. One more client. So one master, client one, client two. So as I said, this is going to be my success mission. This is going to be my failure mission because during your any uh, uh, testing environment, you need to test both success. You need to test both uh, failure so that you your playbook. If you go and uh, implement in production, it will work for both scenarios. So your your playbook is capable. Uh, we, we discussed last week. So the same, I'm going for a create instance. <clears throat> I'm going for first mission, node one, come down. I don't want to go for two CPU and four GB memory, come down. I'm going the minimal uh, capacity, one CPU, 614 MB. So my OS should be uh, CentOS. Of course, you can go with any uh, Linux flavor, but I'm I'm always go with uh, Red Hat or CentOS because it's an uh, enterprise grade. Uh, you know, production uh, related, you can do everything. So node one is created. So now I'm going to create a node two. So you can create it in AWS also. So node two. Come down, so I don't want to go with the higher capacity, so I'm going with the minimal. <coughs> one come down. Change. Say CentOS. Select. Create. So now three missions got created. Now what what we are going to do is we are going to see a couple of uh, uh, scenarios in Ansible. And also today I'm going to randomly uh, ask uh, uh, you, can you create a small playbook? Hope you understand uh, the easiest way to create a playbook from last week. So I am just going to log in all three missions. Uh, node one and then node two. So we need to have a few uh, uh, prerequisites. So jitub.com slash cloud and love slash ansible and uh, select search ansible. So if you go here, 
there is a class six or, or class five lab setup. So exactly you can uh, copy paste only you can do it. So let's wait for all three missions. Yes. If you look at this. Uh, I'm going to say sudo su. So I'm I'm switching as a root. Sudo su. I'm switching as a root. Sudo su switching as a root. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy paste because I clearly said in all three missions. So I'm just going to say paste it, enter, paste it, enter, paste it, enter. So I'm, I'm just trying to configure. So I'll configure it very quickly. Uh, I'm just disabling the firewalls. Yes, Linux. So I'm just installing some uh, uh, v editor so that the color coding almost already is there because it's a google cloud so this step i clearly mentioned if you are setting up a creating a three vms in your local machine uh, using uh, a virtual box or vmware workstation so then you need to make sure the local dns you can give any name but that name should be there in all three missions so that the server won't have any problem with respect to the DNS. So come down, but we are creating in a, a cloud, so you no need to have this headache. Now we have to enable the SSH by default in cloud. All missions will not have direct SSH connectivity. So I'm just going here. Password authentication. <coughs> by default, this will be no. If you see here, by default, this will be no. So I'm just saying comment out. But what is the password authentication? Yes. So that I'm enabling it. So I'm just going the same in all other three two missions. Password authentication. Password authentication, no. So that I need to comment it out. Password authentication, yes, and I'm enabling it. And also I'm going for a node 2. I'm going for the same password authentication, no. I'm just going for password authentication, yes. So I saved it. But in order to take effect, you have to restart the service. So let's restart the SSHD service. Let's restart the SSHD service. Let's restart. In all three missions, so come down. So now I need to add the user Ansible. <coughs> I need to add user. Because I, I clearly said uh, whatever step all missions are whatever step only one particular machine so you you will get every uh, everything here so now i need to set the password so i'm just setting password so the node 2 also i'm going to set password Is it visible for everyone? Uh, can you confirm in the chat? Is it visible, right? Yes, yes. <clears throat> OK, so now uh, we need to give the pseudo permission because when we say automation, the when you run any uh, automation scripts, then uh, there won't be any person manually go and enter the password. So you need to give the grant the permission. Are you going to root? So uh, in production, you used to say functional user ID. So in this case here, we have our functional user ID called. Uh, Ansible, so I'm going with the VA sudo. <coughs> this command itself uh, uh, open sudo's file. 
directly. So I'm just pasting it. Even if you don't know this line, don't worry. So you simply go with uh, this line. Uh, instead of root, say Ansible. You copy this same and instead of this, because it's a root, but you are a normal user. So you need to say no password all. That will save you. So you no need to memorize anywhere. Everything is there in this file itself. So I'm, I'm just pasting whatever I prepared already. So don't don't worry if you forgot. So I'm going to copy this. I'm going to save this. <coughs> I'm going to do the same. VI sudo. Come down. Very easy, but the only problem is uh, the programming mindset. Only uh, it's it's denying us to go for Ansible, even uh, Python or or uh, Terraform. Of course, Terraform and Python, you need a little bit uh, uh, sh uh, shell programming or those kind of uh, uh, understanding. But what I'm saying is you start with a very small task. That will give you a breathe. I'm adding the Ansible in node one. Saved it. The same I'm going to do the other machine. <coughs> I'm going to do the same machine. Come down. Insert. Ansible. VA sudo. So now we need to go back to the server. What is the other step? So we need to log in as a Ansible user. So right now we can log in. SSH hyphen key gen. OK, and then. We can say. Uh, copy ID so we can copy this even you can uh, SSH copy ID node one. So the first time it will ask what is the password you given for Ansible user? So you give it and the same command for node 2. You give it for this one. So how do I check all my procedures are correct? Whatever I did so far. Simply you try to log in node 1. It should not ask password. And the same you simply log in node 2. It should not ask password. OK. <coughs> Now we are good to go. Now we need to install Ansible. So now you are in a Ansible user, right? If I install this, you can, uh, you will get an error. So without sudo, I'm trying to install. See, it is saying you need to be a root, but we are root. We already given. So you need to give this command. Enter it. So we are installing the Ansible. <coughs> so we need to create a configuration file. So what I'm going to do is once installed. So I'm going to first create the this file. Uh, with no space, everything so that it will be easy for us. <coughs> so let's wait. There is a one more section we need to add. OK, so cat slash etc ansible ansible or CFG because if without add that section, you cannot because you declared in OS level pseudo permission, but Ansible level you need to declare this. You need to declare this, so I'm just putting it here. Remove the hash. So I'm just copying this. So I'm going to say 
where I am. I am in my home directory. So better I am creating a dev environment. I am creating because the same Ansible server you can do it for all environment. You no need to go with the each environment different different Ansible server. So CD dev. If I say Ansible iPhone iPhone version. Right now, always Ansible will look this file on the current directory. There is no file. That is why it's going for global file. But we are going to create this file in, in this. I'm going to paste it. Okay. Now, if you run this command, see the difference. Now it is seeing the current directory file because whenever there is a file in current directory, it will take that configuration only. That is why for each environment, you no need to go with a different different server. Each environment related, you create a directory. You assume that directory at that environment. OK, so now. VAM host. Basically, we need to segregate the or mention the number of servers what we have in our project. So I'm going to say node one. I'm going to say node two. So I'm assuming there is a two group production server is node one. OK, and backup server is. Node. Node. And I am going to say backup. So if you go here, now all are fine. Ansible all iPhone iPhone list, uh, iPhone iPhone list, which will give you this one, node one and node two. Now Ansible all instead of all, I want to see all production group missions. Group name. Uh, prod. See only node one. I want to see all backup group servers. Whatever servers are in backup group. See node one, node two. So almost all prerequisites are over. Now final check is from Ansible. Am I able to reach all the machine? Ping pong. If you get ping pong. In a green color, you are good to proceed. OK. Now I'm going to ask one simple scenario. Even I uh, given in the, uh, the sheet. Uh, are you able to see the sheet? In this, I just asked a couple of things. I'm going here. OK, so I'm, I just asked a couple of things. Say, for example, I'm going I'm, I'm going to explain one scenario. Can you tell me how to do it? Uh, so any idea if you have, let me know. So basically my manager. Uh, my manager is uh, speaking me, uh, uh, so he is telling that OK, there is a requirement. We have a lot of servers, maybe say 1500 servers. OK, so there are a lot of servers. So he is saying uh, we need to do one critical activity. So there is a some emergency patch. So all servers are running VS FTPD. That means FTP. <laughs> VS FTP package, sorry. VS FTPD package. So there is a security team uh, uh, want whatever VS FTPD package with say uh, two version less than uh, uh, VS FTPD dot 2.1.4. Whatever versions less than this version, it is a vulnerable. So he asked first he need a report what are all machines in this 1500 because your your project is having 1500 servers so what are all server less than 
this version. So I need a report. Then what are all servers less than this version? Go and fix it first. I mean the update the uh, latest version. The latest version is 2.7.2. I'm just giving you an example. This is old version. This is new version. OK, how do you do that? In what method? Can anyone uh, uh, raise your hand? Then <coughs> can you uh, raise your hand and share your views? How do, how do you achieve this? Any any uh, any uh, inputs? Yeah, yeah, with me. Yeah, go ahead. I, I have unmuted. Uh, but many I have unmuted. Can you check it? Yeah, hi. Uh, so I, I'm not sure if I'm 100% right. So yeah, in the ahead. playbook, uh, like just the way we install HTTP or any packages, we have um, uh, this uh, attribute to mention the, you know, this uh, the, the latest version, version latest. The, the, in the playbook, we can mention that, and as we have already grouped all the servers, we uh, like just like prod or backup, we have we can group them all and then run the playbook to uh, install the latest version. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh that is fine, but what I'm saying is, uh, is there any way uh, I'm, I'm, I'm asking the approach? Uh, so the, the grouping and uh, the less priority server that are not fine. Anyway, we are going to do, but uh, I, I'm asking the actual uh, procedure how you can go for it. Uh, Rajesh, yes, go ahead. You can unmute even Rupesh, you can unmute. Too. Okay. You can also so, uh, Vijay sir, thanks for unmuting. Rajesh here. So uh, we can use add a command to check for the version no, installed. No, uh, you, you no. You all otherwise... because this is what uh, I am expecting no. from you. Mm -hmm. Add a command. Okay. Go on mute. Go on mute. So Sorry. add a command. Uh, you have to use only if there is any uh, just a one-time purpose or in case any emergency, right? Add a command, please avoid in most of the time. OK, but here we are talking about the uh, repeated. Maybe now uh, VSFTPD this version uh, in uh, again. You may have different package, different version, but the requirement is going to be the same. Correct me. Correct me if I'm wrong, uh, Rajesh. So correct, sir. So 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 you you cannot go with the add a command because add a command means you are typing one command. You are getting the results you are uh, completing. That's fine. But what about? Again, what about again? Because per day, as per normal production environment, there will be a hundreds of patches. Every week, there will be a huge number of patches, huge number of upgrade, huge number of software rollouts. There are repetitive tasks. If the when say repetitive task, you have to go with infrastructure as a code. I A infrastructure as a code because you need to reuse that is where the python ansible terraform is coming into picture so okay let me just go because most of the uh, already i explained in my uh, uh, videos <coughs> because this is really something uh, uh, most of the red hat books or most of the blocks they are not they are showing what is the condition but i don't want condition i'm not a programmer but i want that condition has to be created by machine itself okay i'm going here let's take a three window concept i'm going to open up another window because you need a two window 
I'm logging server. So better I will uh, close node one. And uh, I'm closing node two. So that. Uh, OK, node two I don't want. Because I want to both has to be together. Then now I will open node one and I will open node two. So I'm just maximizing it. Sudo, I will tell you why I'm opening two window. <coughs> now sudo su space ansible because we need to be in ansible. So I'm going my directory. My configuration directory. OK, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep one window as a playbook purpose. VAM. Say for example, package. Package find dot YAML. Yet another markup language. Enter it. <clears throat> so can anyone tell me uh, what is the Unix command to uh, find the package? What is the Unix command to find? You can search it in Google and tell me what is the command to see. I want to see one package. What is the command? Sorry. Yeah. So I'm just going to say RPM iPhone QA VS FTPD or some whatever package name, right? So if I go here, sudo. So suppose if I go with the node one, let me just show you. Because normally in clients, you always be with the uh, root. So I am doing the same RPM iPhone <coughs> QA. RPM iPhone QA and then VS FTPD. OK, now I am installing VS FTPD. Then we will run this command. We will see what what will happen. So we have installed VSFTPD package. I'm see here. So now I'm able to fetch. That means if I'm not seeing the package is not there, right? So this is the command to find out the package is there or not. So come back to my Ansible playbook. As I mentioned last week, I don't know anything. I am a, I am a, uh, just a fresher in Ansible. So I'm going with the iPhone, iPhone, iPhone. This is the first starting point. So enter iPhone name. I am going to uh, enjoy my automation. OK, so but there should be some meaningful. So going to find VSFTPD versions and upgrade all lower version. So it has to be meaningful. OK, and then enter it. Move the cursor, bring it to the end position and then who are all I'm going to need it. So either all machines or part by part. But now you are going to find it. So better go with the all. So come down. Uh, it's it's up to you how many missions you want to uh, check and update in a face by face. In that case, your your inventory file has to be created in that way. OK, and then move the cursor and bring it to here near hutch near hutch. OK, now I'm going to start my task. Enter move the cursor because I'm going to start my subtask. So bring it to A. iPhone because I'm, I'm starting my first task. Inside task, so this four. Is really mandatory, right? 
So bring the cursor. I'm saying name. No, you need to give a space name. Are you seeing the color difference here? So that is why I installed VAM. Normally uh, VA editor will be there by default. Uh, some of the machines VAM you need to install. It's a small package. So name, but there are other ways also easiest way, but uh, always I prefer to start with hard way so that you 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 never uh, go with it. Uh, confuse in later point. So in first you do a check. VS FTPD package is there or not? OK, how do you check? Command module. What is the command RPM iPhone QA VS FTPD? OK, so here you are running this command, right? So let's check. Don't uh, W right quit. If you every time come out, then again, again, uh, you need to go inside and update. So that is why I want to have a two window concept. Open server in two window. One window you keep update. Another window you keep run it. See here, you keep run it. Ansible iPhone playbook. Okay, what is the playbook we created? Package check. Package find. Enter it. So it's trying to connect node one. It's trying to connect node two, and it's saying it's saying nothing. It's saying changed. That means the command is executed. Are you getting any output here? But we need output, right? We need something to understand uh, what is the uh, result from node one. What is the result from node two? Correct? Correct or not? Instead of going directly the condition, I need what is happening. Node one, the package is there or not. Uh, we uh, node two, the package is there or not. Uh, it's it's connect one, then one like that. If you want, you can change it. The uh, the connection sequence, you can even change it. Parallel or serial, there is an option. Uh, so can anyone tell me? From this output, are you getting any information? Any any useful information? No, right? Yeah, so that means what I need to do first, I need to make something uh, report. How do you report? So I'm 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 a layman, so I don't know anything. So I am in saying machine. OK, can you tell me? In my language, my layman language, so just register something. Uh, don't. Sleep. I'm putting some register, right? So but it, uh, that has to be some meaningful say. Uh, package. Package uh, info. Package info. So you are whatever output you are getting. Actually, you are you are getting a huge output, but we are not seeing. If you run the playbook with detailed verbos, actually there is a huge uh, thing is happening in the back end. This is a detailed verbos, but we need to see by. Uh, 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 the, the the output right the by the hand. So I'm going here, so I'm registering one name. So what will happen is this task will be executed and the result will be stored. The output will be stored in here. Right, so come down <coughs> enter. Iphone. Name. So OK, before going to that next task. I will just show you what will happen with the register. We will execute this. Without verbose. We will see what is the output now. 
see here now also i'm not getting any detailed output as as what i need right so now i'm going here i'm going here iphone name okay i am a layman so please print in my fresher language okay so enter it so there is a debug module enter it <clears throat> So even if you don't know what is the module that will take some some time as i mentioned last week there is a command ansible iphone doc okay there is a module way you can go and check the help so there is a two option you can mention a message means your own message variable means whatever variable you want to print you can say and say the variable name so i'm going to use the same here variable what is the variable we have to print it this is the variable so print it i saved it i'm going here i'm going to execute my playbook see now what i'm going to get are you getting something uh, uh, output very crisp for node 1 very crisp for node 2 not like this the verbos detail verbos detail verbos you can't even uh, read because it's a back end whatever is happening right so i need some my expected output are you able to see my uh, output so can you tell me from this the package is there or not package is there or not we will we will see uh, node 1 can you tell me node 1 the package is there or not can you tell me the package is there or not <coughs> okay so i am going to copy this and going to put it in my notepad this is how when you start any automation learning you need to do like this from this is success machine okay you can you can do uh, uh, you can assume anything uh, any machine as a success any machine as a failure so i'm going to uh, paste the next output what is the next output this is my next output okay i'm going here i'm going here so now can you tell me from this what is the uh, because this node 1 the package is there node 2 package is not there so now how do you create a condition because now you understand success scenario failure scenario right so your playbook if you uh, go and run in production there may be a sum of servers package is there there may be a sum of servers package is not there right now how do you create a condition because many of the blocks many of the books many of the training they are keep mentioning directly the condition but how the condition is getting generated no one is explaining <coughs> you know no. uh, uh, it's not about only std out you can take any value that is what i am trying to convey so say for example package info dot even you can go with the delta package info dot rc you can go with this value package info dot std out yeah, of course you can go with, go with it package info so there should be a value where you can differentiate between success and failure so in this say for example <clears throat> if i go with this condition what will happen can you see my screen i'm i'm uh, making it bigger so i am going with 
this condition. I'm going with this condition dot std out. Okay, equal to equal to null. That means what is the situation? If I go with package info dot dot std out not equal to not equal to <clears throat> what is the uh, uh, what is this means what is this mean any any idea can you raise your hand and uh, tell me uh, yes ravi you can uh, you can go ahead uh, obina yeah you can go for it even abash then satya so the first one said that if there if we don't get a string that yeah. matches the so which means if, uh, yeah. this uh, this means the package is there or package is not there it means that the package is not there ah okay package is not there okay now what this means um means the package is there okay that's it even you can construct this condition in a in a different way you are getting some output right right so you can say vsftpd uh, you know the uh, current condition or you know the current version okay you can even go with uh, the specific version you can take this version uh, and you can mention it here also this is also it's it's fine but the only thing is okay just going here go on mute uh, so i'm just going to copy this uh, i'm going to copy this come down even you can construct in this way but equal to equal to means the package is there that is that is the difference you need to understand if i give the same not equal to that means package is not there how many of you don't understand uh, i will explain again ravi uh, already i uh, given access you can unmute it yes sagar see package info this is your register right so you are getting some output by seeing the output always you try to create your own conditions okay don't don't assume because this output can be changed in a different different environment different different scenario everything that is why i always advise you first create some register and go and you first whenever there is a register you using debug first to try to print it from the printed output you try to create your own condition that is the permanent way of uh, uh, understanding right so we got some output this is the output i got from this mostly all uh, sections are common right so now I am going with the STD out because I am seeing we have installed the VSFTPD one uh, machine uh, just now for testing, right? So uh, VSFTPD is there, VSFTPD is not there. STD out. See here null. So either package info dot STD out equal to equal to null. That means package is not there. Not equal to null. Package is there. You can generate like this. Okay, I'm just going to put it. So any condition can work out. So equal to equal to null. That means package is not there. Okay, not equal to null. That means the uh, your your output is getting something. That means package is there. How many of you don't understand? Ravi, I given uh, access already.
uh, okay i'm making you as a presenter yes please and now i go to the text so uh, okay. we, we can try this in the playbook itself and uh, get that output uh, like which you have mentioned here yeah that is what that, that is what we are going to do go on okay. Uh, so that is what we are going to do. But what I'm saying is, uh, while learning any automation, you always construct and get the output from the output. You always create a conditions. Normally, most of the blocks or even the official uh, training, okay, this part will not be there. They, uh, you, you always see they are registering it. And directly this uh, this condition will be the next playbook play. So people will not uh, understand how this conditions are getting generated. This is the way. You need to first to print it. So now you know how it is. Then now you no need this play also. You can remove it. It will work. It will work. But this is something we are giving it for our Better understanding. Yeah, but when you are uh, you are in a uh, uh, center only, you can unmute. So that this is the easiest way you can generate a condition. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to say. Uh, I'm bringing cursor exactly the same iPhone name. OK, now. Print uh, VSFTPD package is not there. Right? I'm going to say debug. I'm going to say uh, message because my own custom message. Right? My own custom message. This server not. Sorry, uh, and uh, you can mention like this VSFTPD software or VSFTPD package is not installed in this in this machine. Okay, and then when uh, th th there is a question, you are getting it right when. When you need to print this, when means. Can you tell me when? Package info. Okay, you, you already created a condition. Package info dot std out, right? Dot always make it very simple uh, uh, rule. But if you understand, it's okay. So I'm going with a very simple rule. I am going with this. I am going with this. So. If. This condition is. Satisfied, then this will be printed. OK, now I'm saving it. We will see again what is going to happen. I'm executing it now. It will print the output. See node one is skipping. Why? Because node one is the package is installed. So that means the condition is not the condition is what? So the the condition is if the condition satisfied only you print it. If the condition is not satisfied, you skip it. So equal to equal to null. That means see this output. Equal to equal to null means the package is not installed. Only this is getting satisfied. This is skipped. That means node one is package is there. So now I'm going to add the same condition again. Bring the cursor exact iPhone name. <coughs> print VSFTPD package is installed enter bring the cursor exact same debug message 
because it's a custom message. You can go with uh, uh, any 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 message. VS FTPD package has been installed in this machine. Okay, when? Can you tell me when? Can you tell me when? So can you can anyone uh, tell me the condition? What condition I need to put? Um, when pack, package info dot output not equals no no equals no. Okay, so that means I am going with this not not equal to no. null, right? Yes. So now I'm saving it. When I go and execute, now the second option has to execute and print. Okay. See here, the first one is skipping because it's it, that is not uh, satisfying the uh, condition. But the second one here it's skipping because this condition is not satisfying. Right. So this is how you need to first understand how you can generate the conditions this this conditions so now you know all this condition now you can even remove this you no need this okay so most of the blocks or even the uh, official books this part is really missing because of that what is happening is most of them while learning uh, ansible they don't know how this conditions are getting generated so that is why I always say first to go with the manual. Get on it. You get such output from this output. You generate this conditions. The reason why I'm keep flagging out is if you have this habit, even you go for any different different environment, you no need to worry. Why? Because there may be a change in this output. Let it be, but that output will give you a, a environment related uh, uh, conditions. So this condition is going to be applicable in your environment. So go and open a notepad, generate the output from one success, one failure. That is why I installed one package in one machine, not both machines. So in this kind of a scenario, you always uh, keep two missions in your uh, test environment. Uh, if you are if you are going to do some say package related, ensure package is installed in one machine. Ensure package is not installed in one machine because that is how you need to create a playbook. Now, if you go and apply this playbook in your production, definitely it will work. The success scenario also will work. The failure scenario also will work. How many of you have? Uh, uh, Doubts in this before we proceed. <clears throat> so now. This anyway again I'm saying this is also no uh, not needed. Package info OK. <laughs> I will just go here. This is just a name, register name. I can say. Uh, even I can say I am not lazy. You can uh, go for it. Register is a name. But that should be some meaningful. Even this is uh, you can set any uh, uh, comments. You, you can see uh, you can you can put any comments, but see the output while executing. By seeing this name only, you will understand. OK, this section, this task or this play, what is happening? By seeing this heading name only, you will easily understand. OK, this play is about what? Come down. So by seeing this heading only, you will understand what is happening inside. OK, so if you are uh, naming and all, you can put anything, but 
you uh, while seeing the output definitely you, you are not going to uh, understand anything you will confuse more see here check vsftp package so these are the reason whatever the name or the variable name everything it has to be a somewhat meaningful you can even go with i'm not lazy that means you need to change it here you need to change it here it will work it's just a name that's it so the 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 name can be anything but you should be some somewhat meaningful it should not be uh, like uh, i am not lazy i'm coming down i'm going here i am not lazy so you can go any uh, name even you can go and run now it will work it will work but by seeing that uh, okay there is something typo maybe uh, variable where is the error so this is is the, is the last one is the last one last comment ah okay 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 there is a typo mistake sorry yeah uh, so no yeah 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 uh sanjay you understand right so you you can give anything but that should be some meaningful because if you create something you are the person again going to troubleshoot right or if you create something after your shift the next shift person uh, need to understand what it is so it has to be some meaningful name meaningful tag name meaningful uh, variable name everything has to be aligned with what you are doing right so go up go up so it is a package check so better you go with some say ftp check these are all related to what you are doing so better you put it like this the ftp uh, go on mute package check uh ftp package check so i'm just going to copy or ftp check or ftp software check so these are all related to what you are doing so uh, i i would strongly recommend the variable or command or anything whatever you are using please make sure it is somewhat meaningful what you are doing so i'm just going here uh, i'm just changing it ftp check it's just a register so you can do anything you can you can go for uh, any name that is not an issue so whatever you are defining it it has to be uh, printed that's it ftp check now my question i'm going to have this or just for your understanding purpose nothing to do with it uh, to be frank the play play two right play three play four task two task three task four nothing to do with my actual uh, deliverable so now i need to add actual scenario what i need to add what is my actual scenario if vsftpd is not installed then install it okay then what is the installation m m module i i told right last week ansible iphone doc m you go the example you go the example see here there are couple of uh, examples yes yes so there are same so now the i'm going to do do the same here m name hasti sorry vsftpd and uh, and i'm saying state latest if you know the version you can also mention the version so say for example this version that means you can mention this even here you okay particular version you want that means i'm i'm just mentioning vsftpd 
right now the important point what condition you are going to apply this scenario uh uh Srini, can you uh, unmute can you ask this question raise your hand so because there are a lot of people um uh, uh, okay okay can you say uh, i didn't understand your question no better better raise your hand you speak it because uh, most of the time i'm not able to see your chat messages yeah, go ahead, uh, Srini. Uh, hi, Vijay. So, any main difference between register and where? So, where is a variable, right? Register is also same, or do we need to no, no, give? No, no, no. See, the variable, first you need to declare in a register. Actually, this is the variable. Yeah, okay, okay. So, you need to give the name. That name is a variable. So you are you are putting some variable and collecting all the output. How do you print it? So that is where the module specifically for this purpose. So the debug module, if you say where you need to mention the existing variable, what you collected. If you say message, it's a your own message. It's it's a custom message. So the variable, if you mention this, then that should be already declared variable. So already so, we declared here. OK, OK, so we can declare any number of uh, words there in the register at the same time. Oh, like comma. No, 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 no. <laughs> only one. Because okay. you are doing something that you are capturing one. OK, if okay. you want to have multiple, then again you go with a similar scenario and again you create a, another register. That output will be captured in that register. But here, this output will be stored here. But until I see the output, I cannot generate this condition. I, I don't know what condition. So by seeing the output, I need to generate a condition. This is the most of the time I, I'm advising people. OK, we have to repeat all the steps again and again. If you want to move to register more. Ah, we, we are going to have another register, so you will understand. But one purpose, one register, that is the most of the uh, idea. Okay, because okay. If you want to use more, then can we use any loops and all? No? No, no, no. We can, but I'm going with one scenario. Make sure you are uh, getting the point because most of the blocks or the official books, this is really missing. This is really missing. Okay, so, okay, okay. so people are directly going with uh, this, with the condition. So now uh, my question is how this condition are uh, getting uh, created. OK, 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 thank you. Thank you. Vijay. OK, so register is a declaration and uh, where is the value? No, 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 yeah. <laughs> OK, this is what it is doing. Can you tell me what we are doing in this? This place checking whether we have a FTP package is not available mm. or not. OK, then that information I need to feed it to something so that I need to know in this format until I see in this format. Uh, until I see in this format. Where is that? Until I see in this format, I cannot uh, 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 go and uh, define condition because I need to have this format, correct? Jason, uh, Jason format, correct? Mm -hmm. So if I see in this format, then now it's very easy. I'm not lazy dot changed equal to equal to true or not equal to true or I'm not lazy dot delta equal to equal to some value or not equal to delta uh, 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 some value or I'm not lazy dot RC equal to equal to zero or not equal to zero. Or I'm not lazy dot failed equal to equal to false or not equal to false. So anything, but I need to first get this uh, format, correct? Mm -hmm. So in order to get the format, first I need to capture it and I need to print it. That is what we are doing. So once you created, once you know what is the condition, 
even you can remove this three play play two play three play four task two task three task four it will work okay okay but many people they are not understanding how they are creating this condition that is what i'm explaining till now okay because uh, I, I'm, I'm very well know most of the official training or most of the blocks, they are really not explaining how these conditions are getting generated. So because of that, what is happening is if you go uh, say uh, Sun Solaris with uh, uh, Red Hat server environment or with the Windows server environment uh, projects, right? You, you people are often getting confused how I need to uh, create these conditions simple whatever you are doing you capture that and print it this itself will tell you what kind of a condition you need to put it for success scenario and failure scenario is everyone clear is 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 everyone clear yeah now I'm coming actual uh, our deliverable. I am. Uh, wh what is the purpose? If the VSFTPD is not installed, then go and install. OK, here you can give the specific version also or general uh, VSFTPD. OK, so now what condition you will give? I'm saying when. What condition you will give? Any any idea? You can raise your hand. I can unmute you. Yeah, yeah, Mahindra. I'm uh, given uh, mic access. Yes, as well as you. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Uh, when FTP check standard out is uh, equals to none. Uh, when FTP check standard out equal to equal to none. none. Okay, simply copy this rule and paste it. You Do you know why I uh, uh, wasted my time to create this? It's very easy now. Because you already, because actually we know need, but it is worth till you get confidence. These three uh, play always in your lab, in your testing, in your uh, uh, POC environments, in your uh, development environment. The why? Because maybe once you tested, you remove this and give give it to uh, production. Uh, while while sending uh, uh, to your manager or production support team, hey, I created this playbook. You can uh, uh, use this playbook and raise the change and implement it. You can tell to your production support if you are not production support also, right? But this will give you more easy way to define the actual scenario. Now, I am just going here. iPhone name, okay? If VSFTPD is installed installed then start the vsftpd service hope you understand now what i'm doing <laughs> so i'm going here what is the module to start the services same service enter And I'm going to say name. What is the service name? VSFTPD. Uh, what I need to do? What I need to do? State restarted. Okay. When? When? Can you tell me what is the condition I need to give here? Not equal to empty. Yeah. So not equal to empty simply copy and paste it here are you able to understand actually we need this to play not this place okay but it is worth to go on this three play because your life will be easy you will be uh, confident very easily this is why i, I want you to waste time on this three uh, play Hope everyone is clear now. Now, once you defined better, 
you remove this also because it it is going to take lot of time. Maybe uh, it is a three, but when you go for a, a larger environments, this also will consume lot of time. So uh, while testing, while learning, while uh, getting the actual working playbook, you keep this. Actual implementation, you remove this ta three task. OK. Now. I am going to say. Another uh, scenario. Yes, Abbas. I already I muted uh, unmuted. OK, you go. OK, can you? Uh, uh, yeah, Vijay, this is in us. Yes. Yeah, in the in the example you mentioned the name debug, right? So in the actual implementation, so where, where is not required? Where? No, ba. You you are not getting the point. This three. Oh, okay. Sorry. This three are not our actual uh, scope. But when you def once you defined. While doing this, what you are doing simply you are copy paste this conditions, right? Yeah, yeah. correct or not? Yes, yes. So if I if I not uh, wasted my time in this three, but anyway you need to create a condition. How do you uh, know what condition you need to put it here? No, no. I thought we have to include both the register and where, so it's not required. <laughs> See, register is required. Without register, this. Uh, condition will not be generated, correct? OK, yeah, yes, right. So I am yes. talking about the printing. It's really not required. Okay, it is okay. for only your understanding purpose because you are a uh, just a beginner, correct? OK, okay. that variable keyword is not required if we are uh, doing directly like yes. OK, yes. okay. So that is what I'm keep on saying in if you go to most of the blocks, most of the official books, this will not be there. That is where people are uh, getting fear on Ansible or most of the automation uh, part because they are directly explaining what is the condition uh, they are automating, but they are not explaining how these conditions are getting generated. OK, OK, thank you. Even now, wait, let me. David. Cat package or or I'm just going to because if I delete it. Package. Uh, say one dot YAML, so we will take a backup. Now I can say package find. I will remove this. No need. This is for just to your understanding purpose. Without those three uh, sections, you cannot come uh, in an easy way to uh, arrive this play. Okay, now I'm going to save it. I'm going to execute it. See here. The playbook will execute without any issues. But the only problem is. You cannot understand or the next person who is coming to manage your environment, it, it, it will run without any issues. Srinivas. But my question yeah, is yes, by seeing this. You are uh, uh, the, the, the previous person who created this. He left from the company or he left from the project. Do you understand this? How these conditions are getting generated? Tell me. Do you understand how these conditions are getting generated? Yeah, no, no, yes. no. That is the major purpose I'm explaining. This is must without okay, okay. this register. This uh, definitely the, the condition still because if you do a register, even though you are not seeing here, you do a detail verbose for V. Still it's happening in the back end. Still, it's happening in the back end. See here. Everything is happening, but while generating a playbook, but as a layman, as a beginner, as a fresher, I need to get some comfort level, confident level. 
for that only we need those three section so that is why i always advise whenever you register something first print it you go for that output from that output you generate a condition this is the long term stability in any of the automation that is why uh, i used to keep mention the manual car driving this is the manual car driving if you know this uh, slowly you know no, you no need to waste those uh, three tasks by seeing this itself you will get a, a clear understanding you are you are getting the point uh, yes 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 yeah okay so now i'm just going to open uh, this one okay i saved it so i'm going to open the other uh, file because package 1 package1.yaml see here so now i want so the ftp restarted so now can you go to node 1 and say service service vs ftpd status service vsftpd status even here service this google cloud this is the one uh, disadvantage always we need to zoom it okay so both machines are now running so now you may have a scenario okay you uh, already captured it right now what i'm going to do is i am going to say iphone name oh sorry now you are going to tell me raise your hand i will unmute you you are going to tell me this scenario what scenario print whenever there is a register okay what we are doing this something we are doing for service restart previously package installation package check so i am i want to create a different condition so i am checking vs ftp or ftp service okay ftp service check or ftp uh, service status Okay, FTP instead of long, I'm putting it as a uh, small. So I'm registering it. When I say I'm registering it, immediately you are going to print it. This is how the good learner print the output in JSON format. How do you print? Can you tell me, Sweeney or somebody? How do you print? Debug where? De debug and say where go on mute go on mute there is a background so debug var okay and i'm going to say ftp status actually this is not needed hope you all understand this is needed right but this is not needed but i am a zero i am layman i want to see how and create a condition so i am going to say enter it now go back and run it we need to see what kind of a condition is getting printed <coughs> so without verbose i am going to execute it let's see what what condition okay so now we are not getting i think there is some Okay, so I made one mistake. So we need to go and say here. So we are restarting something. So that means register FTP status. FTP status. And then I'm coming back here. 
executed not getting printed i am just restarting the service and i am going for <coughs> yeah vijay uh, do we need to can use a uh, m here no no, by UEM. We, no no we are starting the service so that yeah. we are going to use it so calm down we need to see what is the register normally we need to put it as a register in the last but there is some so service we are starting it <coughs> and we are giving the not equal to but there should be a service. We need to get the register. And that register is FTP status. <coughs> Let's uh, save this. We need to print that. Basically, it's not going. Uh, if VSFTPD is installed, start the VFTP service. So it is coming till this, but not this uh, play. So we need to just execute. But before that, we will go and save it. Uh, Vijay, is the playbook name changed? Uh, oh, oh, okay, okay. Sorry, sorry. Actually, we are keep executing the old playbook. Actually, we duplicated, right? We deleted something, correct? So actually, this playbook name is package1.yaml, correct? Correct or not? Yes, is is everyone? Uh, yeah. uh, so we are keep on executing that playbook. Actually, I will. Uh, we will see this playbook doesn't have further package find.yaml. So we are keep on executing this. That is why it's not going further. So we need to just go with the actual file. <coughs> Let's see. So now we are registering it and that new register. See here how much bigger output we are getting. See each node we are getting this output print. The output in JSON format now you all going to generate the second condition. I'm not going to uh, generate a second condition. Uh, all I'm going to do is you can take this. Output. This is why I'm always asking people to go and generate the condition and you can. Survey in any concepts, so I'm pasting it. So now you all tell me, OK, I think I haven't uh, copied the full one. Let's uh, minimize this. This is the major uh, copy paste. The screen. So I'm copying one. And I'm going back to here. I'm just minimizing. The font size. I am going to copy the entire one. I am going to notepad. See here. So now you all tell me what kind of a condition we need to generate it. What kind of a condition we can generate it. So at the end of the day, what is this output about? It's a service. So I want to make sure 
based on this the service is started or service is not started if not started then i need to do something if it is started i then i need to do something then can anyone tell me from this output how do you generate a condition can anyone tell me by seeing the status by seeing the status yes this also one of the find that, that means i am just entering it uh, so now this is my variable that means that register right so dot status equal to equal to started means what will happen the service is running right the just opposite just opposite not equal to started that means the service is not running any uh, any other uh, 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 examples any other examples if service is not running we have to start it we are, uh, we have to no, no 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 that that we can uh, go for further but what i'm saying is what are all possible condition you can generate from this output <laughs> service Sorry? is disabled or disabled we have to enable <coughs> okay come down come down there is a come down is there any other uh, service or any other parameter you can go for it <coughs> okay pid so see pid and all it's fine but what is available what is generated from this only you can uh, generate so i'm i'm just going to uh, ram uh, pid is fine but pid is available here maybe uh, come down there is a main uh, pid right but if you go in this way go to this output may, what is main pid for other machine go here main pid c 5160 node 2 main pid what is that 5155 but you cannot define each and because you have a 1500 machines so if you do this condition i will tell you what will happen go here i am going to copy this i am going to put it this say main pid what is the syntax come down main pid okay so i'm going to copy this go here i'm going to say main pid <coughs> main pid okay but what value you you will give so that means a 5150 5550 so that means each and every machine this will differ so this is the exact i'm trying to make you comfort <coughs> yes magendra this is so uh, you understand right mahendra you should not create a condition which is a uh, really change mission to mission this is really uh, uh, going to you 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 will end up with a uh, lot of challenges so the condition what you are creating it should be a common for failure mission and success scenario you all getting the the point which i am trying to uh, uh, explain so you first generate a condition and compare between success machine and failure machine what condition can be almost uh, same right so this also one of the easiest way to understand or you can again again go with uh, active state yes so where is the active state active state okay now we will do one thing can we uh, check the service so in that case we need to little bit modify in that case we need to <coughs> we need to say here instead of restarted we need to say state started <coughs> so if we go like this then what will happen is even the service is not started it will be started you you understand right uh, uh, 
uh, you understand right see if we go with the active state uh, where is the active state yes if you go with the active state yeah active so if we uh, go here already there is a condition you have so definitely the service even if it is not started it will be started so accordingly the previous uh, expectation also you need to define <coughs> So in that case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say. Please, if VSFTPD is installed, so you need to make without any attachment on this. So I'm going to make it as an independent. So start VSFTP. Start VSFTP. Okay. VSFTPD service without any previous condition. Let's see. So I'm going to say service, but this when I'm going to remove it. So it's going to be normal. Even if it is a started or stopped, we are going to enable it. Again, what we are going to do is. Even if it is a, uh, running, we are going to stop. And get the register. And we are going to write the condition. So now what we are going to do is we are going to execute it. Now we see the output because I'm trying to make you to understand all uh, possible logic. So go here. Go here. <coughs> see here now. Go. So what is the uh, this one active state, right? Go here. Is there any active state? Uh, Rupesh, who are all said active state, Patmini. Now uh, it's a node two, right? The state is stopped. OK, node two, I'm going. I'm going to run the status. It's a dead. Go here, but still active state is active. Muthu, Patmini, Rupesh. Now you understand the actual uh, crisis. You, if you uh, go with your FTP status, <laughs> that is why I'm, I'm keep on saying in your lab, you need to keep do all this uh, uh, pinky pinky uh, uh, to come up with concrete understanding. Don't go uh, by seeing the output. OK, it's a uh, active state. Equal to equal to active, not equal to active means uh, you can achieve this scenario. No, don't don't go with that assumption. Because the active state, what they are mentioning is a completely different. Active state means the service is there, right? That is why they are saying it's active. But the state should be stopped is something different. What we are trying to achieve. So that is why I normally uh, advise people to go and check all the possibilities. Keep change in this and generate a condition. Accordingly, you decide what condition you want. But whenever you want to register, then you go and first go this variable print. From this, you create a uh, some uh, custom message with the success scenario, custom message for failure scenario. Then you, this is the scenario you need to have it once you defined you remove this uh, variable print and success scenario custom message failure scenario custom message uh, that is the uh, little bit research we need to do during the playbook uh, that is why i said in our test environment we need to have one uh, server means you need to have one success, one failure. So you need to keep check in a different different ways to make sure. Finally, you say I prepared a playbook. That means you should have checked uh, method one, method two, method three, method four, method five. So from this you should have concluded. OK, this playbook is fine. 
so this condition whatever i defined it will it is going to work for any scenario in any uh, flavor machine that's it so the output that is why i'm uh, keep on flagging the output you need to keep change and test it don't go with the first output itself the the assumption even uh, some people uh, i seen during my uh, interview panel or anything they will go with a changed this also one of the uh, wrong uh, conditions whatever they are generating so that is why this output will be changed time to time and even the some of the environment also even the architecture servers also it will be changed but <coughs> whatever change it's your environment that output going to stick with your environment long so you please generate it and from this output you go for it are you clear mahendra muthu everybody so this is how i used to uh, practice okay so now what i'm going to do is <coughs> <coughs> okay now i'm going to give how many of you uh, want to create a playbook with some input asking say for example uh, i want to create a httpd uh, or or say common software installation install.yaml because my project is having many many software installation every time daily basis multiple uh, uh, requirement so daily i need to install uh, 20 to 30 software on a daily basis right in that case do you think you will create a uh, let me just open up new one do you think you have to open up uh, i i am creating a playbook right playbook for uh say uh, ftp installation and playbook for uh, vsftp uh, httpd installation playbook for kakfa installation playbook for prometheus monitoring uh, node so each and every uh, requirement do you think you will uh, create a one of course we need to create a roles but uh, since we are starting it we will we'll, uh, go with this so what you need to do is you need to create one playbook you run it uh, whenever you run it should ask what is the package name it should ask what is the directory name you should ask what is the license file if any it should ask where to install it should ask what is the ownership permission i need to give for this installation it should so everything every time it should ask that means it is a user interactive based playbook you are generating it so if you create like this what i'm saying is if uh, you can use this playbook for any purpose can you confirm me correct or not you can you can use this playbook for any purpose correct So what I'm going to do is simple. If you go and uh, uh, check this, <coughs> so there is a <coughs> playbook where you can create the same, but this time, uh, hope this is what we have just created similar uh, one. So in this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this. I'm going to give a block and all. Uh, I don't want to make it confuse. So we are going to take this alone. Copy this. OK, I'm going to say here. Uh, if you want to copy anything, I'm going to say paste it. OK, sometimes what will happen is suppose I'm going for a, a this one sample sample playbooks. This also one of the things you need to careful. 
I'm just going for say some playbook. Okay, suppose I'm going for uh, playbooks. Okay, host setup YAML. I'm having some playbook. So I'm just copy this. I want to show you something. So I'm going back to my Ansible mission. I'm going out. I'm coming again. So insert. If I paste this, can you see the alignment is not correct? Can you see the alignment is not correct? So the actually the playbook is not correct. Right? So whenever you want to practice, so you cannot keep uh, create the playbook, right? Al already there is a internet will will have more more examples. So how do you practice on the fly without any issues? So simple. Create a playbook. Before going to insert mode, type colon set paste. This also these are all we can automate in the VA editor. Uh, probably I can uh, uh, send you the procedure, but I would prefer don't go with that uh, automated way. We have to create uh, one hidden file. Automatically the formatting everything will be. Uh, uh, if you type three letter, the format will be uh, automated. So set paste. Now you go to insert mode. Press I. Now you paste it. See here. Are you seeing the difference previous paste and now? It is. <coughs> almost. Pasted correct. So this is uh, how if you want to go any uh, playbook from Internet, you want to practice it. Uh, instead of wasting time, right? Copy that, but you go and say before going to paste. You mention set paste. I'm again. I'm going to show you. Set paste. Colon set space paste. Enter. Now say insert mode and paste it. Uh, hope you are. Uh, you are you are understanding right? <coughs> Can you confirm in the chat? So whenever you want to copy anything from a internet, don't worry. Simple, you uh, set paste, then go to insert mode, then paste it. And I'm just coming out. <coughs> oh, okay. Yeah, so we can we can automate this. We are the actual uh, this one. <coughs> I'm going to say W. Hand. Okay, so now I'm going to open a different one. I'm going to delete everything. Okay, now I'm going to say colon set paste. Now from this thing, I'm going to copy. What is that? Iphone, iPhone, iPhone. I'm going to type this. Can you all, if anyone want to tell me, tell me. So we are going to say iPhone, 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 iPhone name. I am going to create playbook for a reusable 
purpose and then the cursor towards name and host is you can say all or node one comma node two or you can go with the group name in that case i'm going with all these are all we have mentioned in the ansible.cfg vars underscore prompt this is the actual key you need to mention it so this variable name anything you can mention it right but it should be some meaningful enter the package name this also you can mention anything but it should be some meaningful what i'm going to do is i'm going to copy this i'm going back to this insert mode i'm going to paste it right now enter it bring the cursor because it's a subtask so name what is that i want to mention it so i'm going to either go with the module but this time I'm going to use the variable, right? One time variable. I'm going for say install the package. Okay, even you can go with the package variable name. I will I will uh, show you how this works. <clears throat> what is the uh, uh, module to install? M module. So name. What is the name? I don't know. I have to check every time. So mention the above whatever you declared in a double curly and state is installed or latest. I'm going to save it. What is the file name we given? Software install, right? So can we check software install YAML? See whatever we given. It is updated. Now Ansible iPhone playbook software install enter. <coughs> okay, there is a syntax error. So we will check iPhone iPhone syntax iPhone check. <coughs> so there is a package. Go here. So name is package. So there is a variable, right? So we need to declare with double quote, come down. We need to give the declare. I am saving it. So now we will check syntax check. This is also one of the good uh, utility. So there is no issue. Even the we can uh, go with this. Name. Uh, this package we can also set like this. Package. Because. While giving any package automatically you can define some more uh, information also here saying that what purpose this package is uh, uh, you are you are trying to install so you can add the detailed description also here okay but as of now i am going to execute it so i am just going to yes yes satya because when See, where's prompt means it's a variable, right? But uh, because I want to use it the same in a multiple uh, uh, area again and again. If you type like this, if you type like this, what will happen? Satya, you unmute and tell me. I think already you are. So if you type this, that means tomorrow you want to do a different package. Again, you need to open this file, update, or you need to create a similar file, correct? Okay. Correct, Satya? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but my expectation is I want to use the same file for every time, but okay. different, different package. That is how the okay. patch management works, right? It will be uh, easy for uh, your life, right? Okay. We will uh, so, we'll provide the input based on the input value. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. So now 
I am just creating. So I declaring some name. You can you can be any name. Say uh, I am a, a type a package, but it should be some meaningful, okay. right? So while while getting the input, you should uh, get some uh, proper uh, uh, description, right? So I am just saying uh, double curly package, double curly, and I am just saving it. First, before execute, better check the uh, syntax check. Syntax hyphen check. So there is no issue. Now you uh, execute it. See here. Uh, I will explain what is private. So now I am typing httpd. Okay, enter. So now the same playbook installing httpd. See here. This is why the description also I given the variable. Right, because you have to see the output in a proper way, right? So now I, I'm again executing it. This time I'm giving VSFTPD. Remember the playbook is same. Enter. So now the same playbook, but we are installing VSFTPD, right? Uh, Raj, your question, Ansible playbook. Are you able to see what I'm typing? Uh, Raj, are you able to see something? Uh, everyone is seeing, right? What I'm typing. Right. Suppose you are uh, getting some password, asking some password to enter to do this. So uh, during some uh, any key logger or anything, easily they can capture, right? In that case, it's a security uh, issue. So now what I'm going to do is uh, those kind of a thing you can say yes. Save it. <clears throat> I'm going here. I'm going to execute again. Wait, let me clear the screen so that people can see easily. So now can you tell me what I'm typing? Raj, can you tell me what I'm typing? <laughs> so this is how say for example you can expand like this say uh iphone name you can you can add multiple say password okay password okay and i'm going to say prompt please enter your uh, login password. In this case, you cannot go with the uh, uh, private equal to no. You should go with private yes. Raj, you, you understand, right? Yeah, it's 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 a it's a some of the input. If you think it's going to be tamper, then <coughs> you need to be. Uh, safe. Uh, I, I hope everyone understand this, right? Like this, you can keep on call this. Uh, even you create hundreds of thousands of play in same playbook. It's a reusable. <clears throat> OK. So now we will take some uh, 10, 10 minutes break and then. Uh, Vijay, small one small question. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, can you go back to that uh, uh, that uh, Ansible? Yes, yes. Yeah. So here the prompt is that again you are passing the variable or it's a enter the package name. <coughs> Sorry. Enter the package name again. You are passing the variable right to the prompt. Or not you need to you need to create another play, right? Create another play. Re relevant that. Correct. correct or not? No, no, that is correct. But uh, my question is different. I'm asking yeah. like prompt prompt you have mentioned enter the package name and then a name you are giving the package uh, with the curly brackets. So yeah. this uh, this I'm not able to understand like uh, in the previous uh, you use the register uh, to pass the variable right to yeah. give the that value. Is, that's easy. That, that, that no, no. Uh, can you please be sure there is a lot of background noise? Okay, okay. I'm, I'm so, so OK, so here 
even i can say uh, vijay okay the the name whatever you are declaring it it is going to be your uh, here previously what we did is i i will go back i will create here see previously our intention is i have to create one register <clears throat> that register uh, based on this register basically i need to do something so on a condition basis if yes do this if no do this for that uh, i don't know how to create a condition so what i am doing is i uh, i am creating a uh, output from this register how using where i printed this output <clears throat> so now from this output i am creating my own condition this is one way of scenario okay now here what i am explaining this uh, scenario is i have a play which is having 500 task 500 play inside right so in this 500 play keep on i am getting the uh, input so i don't want to go repetitive task that repetitive task if i make it as a input based then the same playbook i can use it for any purpose all i am doing is only the value is going to be changed in that case what i am uh, creating is i am creating a playbook saying that hey can you enter something so i am taking as a input and whatever that input has to be assigned you already declared if you see here you already declared you are getting the output accordingly you are defining what play that register uh, collected input under this variable you are declaring here so that means whatever you typed here right that will be assigned here because you calling <coughs> you need to change this with say vijay so the the <clears throat> variable can be anything but the purpose previously we have printed and generated a condition and from the condition we instructed to do some job if it is yes do this if it is no do this but here collected uh, uh, input we are variable that input we are passing on to some task you are uh, are you clear now yes vijay now it is clear yes 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 so the, the, see i i what i'm trying is i'm trying to show some important uh, methods so how and when you need to decide based on your project requirements thank you vijay uh, now it's clear yeah go ahead there is some person so that uh, we, uh, vijay yeah abhas this side um yeah. uh, one question actually not so much yeah, taking yeah. your time uh, no, no, can, no, we pass, uh, uh, can we pass uh, can we if if for example uh, can we uh, pass some versions in a state uh, where is latest is written can we pass some versions also if i want to specify some version yes see here ansible iphone doc go on mute ansible iphone doc say for example m module right this is the m module right so go here don't uh, memorize or don't struck everything is in uh, help ansible doc so go here are you able to see uh, bus can you unmute and confirm so uh, even yeah, you can yeah. you, you can go with the to name yeah. name okay, okay that okay. means when you okay. execute this okay. you need to pass the exact uh, instead of just a httpd you need to pass the exact httpd i from the this this uh, oh, this okay this the state should be present in that case state should yeah. be present you and go, the version should be yeah. there okay 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 now you go here got, 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 got. see state either you can mention present or you can mention installed or you can mention latest or, or you can mention absent absent means remove or you can mention okay. remove removed also it will be removed that is why each and every module whenever you write till you get a confidence say this is the module name so immediately open another window and go to ansible doc that module 
ansible doc say for example service <coughs> okay so come down there is a state see here started also you can mention or stopped also mentioned or restarted also mentioned reloaded also mentioned so can anyone tell me when we can mention a reload which what kind of a services reloaded will be really really must any any idea httpd when we uh, are no, no 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 uh, i'm asking the situation and service name okay can anyone tell me uh, can you go on mute can you go on mute can you go on mute okay uh, can you tell me the scenario i have a firewall change i opened the uh, exactly uh, shubash so I, I i have some firewall rule but i don't have a downtime i cannot restart or i cannot so it will be impact with my production so the firewall rule firewall d related services okay you cannot go and uh, you should not mention please be careful restarted you maybe you have to look out other job okay you have to use reload sorry reloaded okay suppose uh, you heard about the nginx and all right reverse proxy right those are all really really uh, with match with the reloaded because you are adding some rule already there are thousands of rules are there okay but if you restart all will be again restarted till that restart and up come uh, up and running everything will be down so reloaded will be only read what is the new update what is the new changes so there is a please uh, uh, understand the difference restarted when to use reloaded when to use started when to use stopped when to use but rm say you can use it anything in the st uh, state that is why i am keep on uh, mentioning uh, several of my uh, classes whenever you use any uh, module okay before you uh, try go open another window open ansible hyphen doc go to that module and check what are all the options because you are giving the some state apart from this what all options available so there are started option available stopped option available restart option available reload option available <laughs> right so even i can give a multiple example uh, go for a copy go here come down see if if you go to backup <clears throat> so backup also true you can use it or false you can use it it's up to you okay but you need to understand there are other options also you can mention it even destination you can mention src source you can mention some target also you can mention so whenever you have any uh, module you are using till you get confidence always keep open the other window and go to that module go to that help using ansible hyphen doc that module name and spend some time maybe 2 to 3 minutes uh what what if can you unmute and uh, speak because <coughs> yes okay. so we have uh, like uh, for version we have seen that option right the latest the yeah. keyword will be the i know my application doesn't support the latest version i need one of the older version so is there any way i can specify a particular version yeah so here okay. that is what i said you go here say name you need to mention the exact version name say for example uh, i think there is uh, name see here uh, are you able to see this with me so you need to mention exactly but this version again it should be available in your repository how do you check i am going to copy this i am going to any one of the node i am going to m space list space enter there is nothing so in this case even you mention in your playbook nothing going to happen because first whatever the version you are uh, targeting uh, i think we can mention like this so there is nothing what is there in my uh, repository 
I can go here. I can go here. So there is a version 2.4.6 iPhone 97. So I can mention like this. So how do you how do I mention? I can mention 2.4.6 iPhone 97. OK, enter it. <coughs> Wait. Is it correct? Two point. Four. OK, wait, RPM iPhone QA HTTPD. OK, so I'm going to mention HTTPD. This one yum list. Wait. Okay, see here, uh, Batmani, can you unmute and uh, confirm? So, your repository, your, your, your uh, repository must have that package, that version has to be available first because your all servers are pointed to that repository. You agree, Batmani? Yes. Yeah, so if you confirm the specific version is available, then simple in your uh, playbook, uh, you, uh, you can uh, easily either enter like this or you can give us an input with a specific version. So in that case, in that case, you can mention directly to that version. Uh -huh. Okay, go. Okay, so uh, so but please make sure the version which you are expecting should be available in your first repository. So if you go M repo list. That means uh, where is this repository available? That, that means updates. So that means in this there is an update repository. So this up update repository should also have this version uh, available. Otherwise the servers, even if you mention in the uh, uh, the playbook, it, it will fail. You you got the idea? Yes. Okay, so we will have a 10 minutes break. Uh, we will come back and and we will continue this.